Hello guys, what's up? It's Salty Dogs here, and today I am back on a new mini series I'm going to be starting. And yes, I do say mini series because it's going to be a mini series. This series is probably going to be about five episodes, and I really need to stop ending words with S because otherwise I go sponsor. So basically, what this mini series is going to be on is how to build a castle. So now you're probably wondering why I'm in a super flat world. It's not because I'm going to build the overall castle in the uh, in a super flat world, but it is. I'm just going to show you to start some a few things that you're probably going to want to know if you're going to try and make your own castle. So now this kind of castle thing is more for beginners, but not like um, complete noobs. Not, I don't say that mean, I just am trying to say that, and that's the only vocabulary words I know on how to say it simply. So, basically, the blocks I have in my inventory are mainly going to be the ones you want to use, but it depends on what kind of castle you're building. If you're going to build, like, a kind of, like, castle filled with zombies kind of feel, kind of stuff, then you're going to want to use this kind of, like, bossy stone or cracked stone. And then if you're going to want to build, like, a new castle kind of thing, like what I'm going to be building, I'm going to use this clean stone and then chiseled stone, and then you can add stairs and slabs and stuff and logs, depending on how in detail you want to make it. So the first thing you're going to want to know how to do is how to, actually I'm going to do time set day. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're gonna want to know how to make a tower. So now, normally I would say a tower should be one, two, three, four, five, five like this, and one, two, three, and then another five, and then five, five, and then one, two, three, and then another five, and another four. So now, basically, I, in my opinion, this is very nice nice kind of beginning or it makes for a very nice feel it gives it a very nice like potential to put stuff in um now you can go smaller i would recommend well actually depending on what kind of castle you want to make if you want to make a small castle then you're probably going to want to go with uh three one no three two three a two, a three, then two, then three, and then two. You're pr if you're going to make a small castle, then you're probably going to want to make something like this. But a lot of people would probably make something like this. And you can customize that. You know, you can do whatever. But then next, what you're going to want to do is since my castle is going to be sort of bigger, I'm going to make one. I'm going to use this. And then you're just going to want to kind of build up. So now, since you're going to have a wall around it, you're also going to want to go up about, I would say, depending on the size of your castle, I would go out about 10 blocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, now you see my... Actually, I wouldn't go 10. I would go, like, a 7. But, you know, now this all depends on what your terrain's looking like, where you're going to build this. So, yeah, so I'm going to build the rest of this castle, uh, and then I will be back. I'm probably just going to fast forward it so it all goes by in, like, five seconds or something. But we'll see what I feel like in editing. Okay, so now I'm finishing, and something you're probably going to want to note is if you're building this on a server and you have, like, world edit installed, you know, the wooden axe and stuff, you know, then you could use that, or you could use, like, MC Edit or whatever, if you know how to use that to build these walls super quickly. And, I mean, if you do know how to use that kind of stuff, that's going to come in super handy whilst building, like, you know, whilst, that's going to, like, it'll come in lots of handy while building in stuff like giant walls. I mean, if you're trying to go all survival, then I would recommend building a small castle, but, you know, that's all, that's all up to you. I'm just going to show you some of the basics on building a castle, so 
So I'm just gonna fill this in and then I'll show you the next step. I'm gonna speed this up again right here. Okay, so now that that is done, you're gonna have something like this. And now you're probably thinking, that doesn't look much like a tower. Well, not yet. So first what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go punch in your wall or your door. So now I would recommend, well actually it depends, it depends. If you're gonna, most of the time this will be your door right here and then you know you can have a nice little setup sort of design like that. And I just used half slab right there and then you know you'd have all this stuff filled in with stone and stuff. So kind of outline right here. So yeah, so you'd have all that filled up with stone and stuff. You know, you'd have your entrance to your castle, wherever, and then you just have, like, a pathway up to here. So, you know, that's not what I'm doing. But, you know, if you want to do that, you know, go ahead. So then, here's your first castle wall. And now, another thing I'm going to say, well, actually, then what you're going to want to do is, since your wall is going to be right here, if you do this design, then... Um, well, actually, just let me build all this up once, one more. So, okay. So now, your wall is going to be right here. This is going to be your wall. Now, you're probably wondering, or, no, wait, 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 wait one second. This is where your wall is going to be. Ah, my voice cracked right there. So this is where your wall is going to be. And now you're probably wondering, why is it not just in the middle, like the middle three blocks? Because that doesn't look as nice! <laughs> oh, wait, wait a second. Okay, I'm confusing myself now. So wait. So now what you're going to want to do for your wall is scratch all that other stuff I said. You're just going to want to have it like this, sort of. Have like a three, and then you're going to bring this out. You don't really have to fill the inside or you won't see it, but I mean, you know, if you're planning to make, like, a huge castle that has giant, you know, walls and stuff on the inside, you know, then you might want to, otherwise, so you can, like, put stuff in it, but also I would recommend torching it up on the inside, so then you can put, like, your stuff on the inside, or so then mobs don't spawn on the inside. So now, once you have this, you have your little wall, and then over here, you'll break up these mill three, and then you'll have another little wall kind of thing. So, place that, and then, you know, so over here, you know, you fill in all in again. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of a video. So, now you have your two walls, and then what you're going to want to do is, you're probably wondering, well, that's not much of a castle wall. Yes, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a full block of, like, okay, so if you're making, like, a rundown castle, you're going to want to use moss stone, and then like a normal half slab, and then maybe like a normal block, and then maybe like uh, another normal half slab, and then like a cracked block, so it looks kind of run down and stuff, but if you're making just like a normal, kind of like up and running one, then you're going to want to do a full block, half block, full block, half, and then you'll do that like all along your wall, or what you can do is have it be all full blocks, and then half, half block, half block and have a wall like that. You know, either one works out. I prefer the first one I said, like that. So I'll go do that on both sides. Uh, that one. That. And then I'll build this out one more so it's the same as the other side. So yeah, so now you have that nice little thing and you're usually gonna... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, so then you're gonna wanna... Yeah, you're gonna wanna go like that. So now you have your doorway. And I'm going to do that on both sides of this. Now you're going to want to make it too high so it has that nice little 2x2 two two kind of feel. And then, yeah, so now I'm going to build all these other walls up again. And then I'll, I'll fast forward to that again. I would recommend, well actually before I start fast forwarding, I would recommend that building all these second walls up 6 or 7 blocks. Doesn't really matter, but yeah, so I'll be back once I fill them up all 6 or 7. 
okay, I am back, and so now you see all of the walls are seven blocks high. That's why I decided to do mine. So now, since the walls are all seven blocks high, the roof is gonna be like the room. It's gonna be six blocks tall, and then you like you're gonna run to a roof pretty much. So then you're just gonna wanna fill all this in, and then you probably start to see that your tower is starting to take a pretty good shape. I mean. So now that all that's filled in, so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make all this one block out. So now you might be thinking, well, that doesn't seem very, that doesn't seem like it's going to make it into a tower at all. But trust me, just, just trust me. I mean, if you click on the video and watch this far, then, you know, just trust me. So now that you've got all that around, and what you're going to want to do, and I recommend always starting in the center of one of your spots, is putting a half slab, and then, you know, depending on what you're going to do, like with your moss brick, or crack, or, you know, cobblestone looks also okay. Like, cobblestone actually looks pretty nice also. So then you're going to want to just go around and do, I like to do every other, because I feel like it saves time, or if you want to switch back and forth, you know, be my guest, I guess. Be my guest, I guess guess but whatever so whoops almost messed that up if you mess it up then you're you have to go back and redo all of it so you know pay attention make sure you don't mess it up so then oh and by the way again on the top you can do what I said earlier like the two different ways so then there you go that's your castle wall or castle tower I guess and now, yeah, so, you know, I mean, for how thick that tower is, I would say it could be, you know, a bit taller, but, you know, it's very, not so much resource intensive, because, you know, it's just melting cobblestone into stone and, you know, that into bricks, but, you know, I wouldn't really say it's resource intensive, but, you know, it takes a while to make, and so, yeah, so, that's pretty much your wall, and then some things you can is like what I was saying earlier with the stairs and stuff. Some things you can do is you can punch a hole, do that. You'll see what I'm doing in just a sec. Go through steps. Wait. Oh, messed that up. You want to go through steps like that. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, no. So you want to go like that. slab, whoops, did that wrong, another slab like that, so then you can't walk through it, and, you know, back when castles would have been relevant, this would have been, like, a very good little, you know, old sniper thing and stuff, so yeah, so, you know, you can add stuff like that, and you can also add some, like, little stuff like this, like a lot of the, any, like, history people will understand what I'm building now. Other people don't take offense, I guess. I don't know. You know, you can build stuff like that, which looks very nice. Also, if you want to give it, like, a little roof kind of thing, you can go, like, um, stuff like that. Wait, actually, you build with that also. Oops, ah. Uh, want to go like the corners, like this, these corners, you see like, yeah, how they're corners, <laughs> you always want to go to the corners, because the corners are always, not always the same box, oh, yep, I screwed that one up, but no matter what the corner is, like slab or normal block, you're just going to want to make it wood, okay, never mind, I cannot get Is that right? Uh, 
that's all right. So. Yeah, okay, so that's okay. So, you know, you can add, like, a little roof thing. If I grab some. I need a half slab. If I just grab, like, a half slab, and I'm not going to use these. So if I grab a half slab and some oak wood, then I can go, like, around. You'll probably see what I'm doing. I'm going to make, like, a little hut out of this tower. Because, you know, if it was raining or something, you know, a lot of castles would have had this kind of thing. And in my opinion, it looked very nice for, like, if you have a castle with, you know, four towers or five towers or something, you know, whatever one, like, the biggest tower would have been in use the most, so you want, would want to put, like, if you're trying to make it sort of realistic, then I would suggest kind of putting, like, one of these on your biggest tower. But, you know, if you don't, then that's fine, you know. So now you've got this, and then you can fill it up with the you know, wood. Now I would go, like, two in with all the wood, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, I able to kind of see that. There we go. So then after that, what you're going to want to do, build up one more. Ah. You know, you probably get the idea, but I'm just going to finish. The video is pretty much over now. I've, I'm, this video is just towers, but you know, this video is probably going to be shorter than the other videos in the series because this one is just kind of like on a super flat world showing you some stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the episode. I'm just going to finish this up, though, as I kind of just said. But I'm running out of time in, like, my real life because I have to go do something. And I'm not going to say what because it's not, like, a personal thing. It's just, you know. Oh, actually, one more thing I will point out quickly is if you have that and then you want to do something like, um, one sec, if I can find it. Like, if you want to do something like this, you don't have, like, your flag or something, you know, or the 1.8 snapshot soon to come out, you know, you can make some sort of thing with that. So, I mean, I'll just put, like, a, a little purple... I'll make it wave a bit because I know how. Ooh, a wavy flag. There we go. Now it's a wavy flag. So, you know, that's how you can just make like a really easy kind of tower. So, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the other episodes because this episode was mainly just showing how to build a tower so yeah I mean I don't know you know if there are other things you'd like to learn or I mean if there are other specific things that you'd like to know on how to build a castle with I will go like I am gonna in this series build like an entire castle but yeah like this episode was just kind of showing off, like, some things, because I'm probably not going to rebuild this castle, or this tower, like, four times, or however many times, however big my castle is, but, yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode, you later, like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, and I will see ya!